Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. Today I thought I would do again a, something a little bit different. So what I wanted to show you was taking a formula that is undiluted and putting it in a little spray bottle at um, I'm just going to choose 15%. So um, I just want to show you my process for doing that. So the first thing that I did is in my one of my books I have like my conversion chart. So for me this basically holds 80 drops. So I'm making it simple. I'm not doing weight because it's so little. Um, I'm just going to do drops for this to make it pretty simple. So this 2 mil, 2 mls holds 80 drops and I've kind of tested that. But you have to remember that doesn't mean 80 drops to the top. Why? Because you have all this stuff that's going to take space and all of the, and then it's going to click down twice and all that stuff would just spew out everywhere so you'd be wasting it so it's kind of like it goes to about the liquid goes to about right here about right there so um it holds that's 80 drops so i just put it in my little clip because this holds it steady so it won't fall over which is a great idea so back to my conversion chart so if i wanted to do 15 percent that's going to be 12 drops so i want to take a pipette and do sorry about that i know you hear that usually that's not on but Okay, so 12 drops. So I'm just going to hold this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Put all the rest back. And I try to get every little drop back into the vial. So again, this is undiluted. And then I'm going to obviously put the cap back on you just want to put the caps back on as soon as possible in case you spill it um, now what you can do is take either IPM isopurple myrcate or perfumers alcohol or some people put half and half in to fill it up you're like, why would they do that? Well, I may have gone over this on another video, but on IPM, so that is a skin softener, and that's for when you are typically spraying stuff on your skin, and that helps it um, for the aroma to last longer because it's going to penetrate into the skin and stay there longer, whereas the alcohol you can, um, when you spray on your skin, it doesn't quite last as long as the IPM, but the alcohol, I, perfumers alcohol, when you spray it on your clothes, I just wouldn't want to spray this necessarily on my clothes, um, just IPM. But with the alcohol, it's going to dissipate and, um, helps spread the molecules further and it lasts longer on your clothes than it does on your skin. But it's just what I've done. I have put half and half in here and um, it's just the best of both worlds is the only way I can explain. You can still spray it on your clothes even though you have a little bit of the IPM. The IPM is not going to be oily and stain your clothes so don't think that because um, it won't. Um, but if it was just IPM I would 
I don't think I would put it on my clothes. I haven't actually tested that like up close on clothes um, to see if it leaves a stain where it's just IPM and that's it. Um, but I have not had a problem with IPM and alcohol both in there. And that's actually what I'm going to do today. So remember we said 80 drops and then I put 12 in. So um, you just put the rest of the drops, either the rest of the drops is alcohol, the rest of the drops is IPM, or you can do a half and half. I have done this so much, I can just eyeball and know exactly where it needs to go. And this is just a sample for me, so I don't necessarily care. It's not for our client or anything. This is just for video purposes. So I just put a little bit of the IPM and the rest because it's halfway and then the rest perfumers alcohol and again I do not go to the top it ends up being right where if the vial is flush all the way down with this to the table then I know exactly where to go and it's pretty much lines up with this clip. I use the same clip over and over and over so I've kind of gotten used to it. So now when we put this in, um, actually before you put this in, I want to shake this and I'm going to tell you why. Because if I don't, see how it's all at the bottom down here? If I just put this in, that concentrated stuff will go in the tip of this and I don't want that to happen because then you just have concentrated in the first sprays they're gonna be like oh my god that's so concentrated when it's truly not so what is smart is to simply shake like this actually I just wash my hands and then snap it on so that's one snap these are hard to do sometimes so you have to just kind of figure out what is easier how to hold it so it doesn't like fall over or whatever and sometimes this is the best method holding it like this with your thumb and then here two fingers and then pushing down with this and it snapped all the way shut so now you don't even have to shake it anymore because it's already mixed, but you'll take a um, piece of paper or your sticker and you can write the name on it. This is called um, Flower Spice. Flower Spice. And what goes next? Yes, the number. Hello, you want to put the number. I was seeing if you were awake out there. Number 379. This I made way back in September. So it's fully matured, all of that kind of stuff. And then you'll simply put your sticker on here. And then when somebody tries it, all you need to know is 379. I need you to make me 379, please. And then you'll have, be able to go right to what book it, you wrote it in. You'll know what book because it'll all be in order. And um, it just makes it simple. The other thing that you might have to do sometimes, depending on your stickers and depending on the plastic, this they can kind of come off a little bit and not totally stick. So that's where I get some scotch tape and I just tape around the top. The other thing that will do is if a little bit of the alcohol drips down onto the ink, it's going to prevent it from touching the ink and getting in there because it will totally smear and you will not even be able to read it with alcohol. That's what the alcohol will do. So I put scotch tape around it and there you go. You have your sample. The other thing hilarious that I forgot to do that I normally write on there and when I forget, all I do is I get my permanent marker and I put on the outside and I'm going to put 15, I'm going to write 15%. So I know that it's 
at 15% and the person knows it's at 15% because they may be like, I like this, but I want it a little bit lighter. So maybe a 12% or I want it a little bit stronger, like at an 18 or 20%. So that's the only thing I kind of forgot to do. And sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't, and I just go right back and I put it on there with the permanent marker. All right. Well, that is the process for taking a oil, one of your formulas that is undiluted and diluting it into a little spray bottle. So, but the thing that helps instead of having to do that math over and over and over is put your formulas here. Figure out how many drops is in a two mil, how many drops is in the four mil, and then you can do a 10, 15, how many drops those are for the conversion, that kind of stuff. So just having a conversion chart, just taking time to do that at the beginning can be very helpful because then when you're done with that, it's done forever. And if you are in a different book, you can transfer that to the other book if you want, if you kind of put your books away or something like that. Anyway, so thank you very much for joining me. And um, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I'll see you on the next Mountain Aromatics.